So as you guys may or may not know, the Miss America pageant just took place very recently. Why do I care about the Miss America pageant? I'm Canadian. Go milk a pine cone. Yes, you're right. But you'll find out very soon as to why this issue may or may not concern me. So a lot of girls came and they looked their beauty and they did hot, they did the talents, they came and like... And the winner of the pageant was 24 year old Nina Devoludi, who by the way is like... God damn, girl. You're 24, I'm almost 24, you want to be a physician, I've been to a physician, you performed a Bollywood dance on stage, I've watched Rikuchukuchota like 13 times. I think we got something special going on here. For real, girl. DM me your digits. Now the second, literally the second she won this competition, the internet went on an alright uproar. Racist tweets flooded people's feeds. I mean, let's take a look at some of these tweets that were came in last night. Joined today is our very own um, Ignorant Rain. Ignorant Rain, how, how are you doing? Yo, what's going on, dude? Yo, like your head wrap is like totally matching. The blue on the wall, man. Right on, man. Whoa, where'd the dude's head go, man? That's crazy, man. Yep. And that's why I call Megan and Rain. And the Arab wins Miss America. Classic. Ah, oh, so close. I mean, India and Saudi Arabia. Yeah, they're pretty much the same thing, but not at all. I swear I'm not racist. This is America. Yes, this is America. Same land, the blacks that were slaves to lay down the foundations, the Chinese that built the railway, the Italians that built the skyscrapers, and the Mexicans that just mold a sh out of your lawns. Yeah, the very same America. How could this even happen? 9-11 was four days ago. She gets Miss America? Wow, okay, first of all, 9-11 was not four days ago. It was 12 years ago. The anniversary was four years ago. And interestingly enough, it has n absolutely nothing to do with Indian Americans or beauty pageants. Shocker. I know. <laughs> Miss America right now or Miss Al-Qaeda? Glad you guys caught that one because it totally slipped under my nose. I mean, it's not like she was born and raised in New York. Attended University of Michigan. It's pretty much like an only a citizen of the United States of America. I mean, none of those things, when you think about it, really matter at all. So, glad you guys nailed that one. Miss America? You mean Miss 7-Eleven? Miss America, full on buffalo chicken on whole wheat. Please and thank you. Oh, hello. Good joke, Mr. Man. Oh, do, 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 do. What the very good joke, thank you, please. <sighs> you gotta get newer racial jokes. Now here's what baffles me. No one complains when we win like spelling bees or data programming competitions. All right, it's because there's boobs involved. And America loves their boobs. God forbid that those breastices be even the slightest shade of brown because that puts a stain on our American history, our constitution, <laughs> and everything that our forefathers stood up for? Is this how we repay them? For this country? What would they say to us? George Washington in his grave be like... Alright, I actually got kind of dizzy because of that. And there's spit on my face. So... Disgusting. I mean, if you look at the top too, the other girl was also Asian. Not the same Asian, but uh, the other, uh... The other Asian. And it begs the question, what would have happened if she won instead? How would have all these Americans reacted in that case? Oh, how about, uh, Miss looks like Miss Kim Jong-un is taking over. Okay, cool. You don't... Okay, wait, how about, could it find North Korea's nuclear weapons? It was a rhetorical Maybe she's check inside her, cause she's bum. Yeah, no, you don't have to see. Just don't let her go near Shut. the Humane Society. Shut up! She might think it's Shut a mess. Shut up! Now what really jerks my chain is how people like to generalize what a true American looks like. As if there's a book out there with a word by word definition. Native Americans. Remember them? A group of people that were pretty much extinct, robbed of their land, their children, their culture. I don't know, ring any bells? And now this is Miss Kansas, who I have no beef against whatsoever. And if she also wants to DM me, I'd love to get some Kentucky Fried Chicken, even though you're from Kansas. So what the hell am I talking about? Miss Kansas is someone that a lot of people thought should have actually won because she truly embodied the American values. Truly American values. used to come over and do things. See, if Miss Kansas had really won, Native Americans still owned this land, I wonder how that reaction would have happened on Twitter. So with me now is none other than American Native American Reign. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Let the 
wild winds run free through your soul, my brother. Okay. Loves our country, just like we loved our land. Loves hunting, bow and arrow. Hunting what? My ancestors. Real Miss America? How about real Miss Son of a <laughs> Taking all of my children and <laughs> And then putting another one into <laughs> Like THIEF! Okay. And on one hand, I wanna be like, no man, we're all humans, we're all one, we're all universally connected. And what difference does it make distinguishing her as an Indian American? Would we do the exact same thing if a white girl were to have one? Calling her Scottish American, German American, Icelandic American. Point being, we are you and you are us. Regardless of whether your ancestors came in the 1700s or whether they came a few hundred years later, we've gone through the same hardships that you guys have in order to build a strong country with amazing opportunities for everybody. Her dad, hardworking doctor, contributor to the American side. My parents, my dad got a degree which he couldn't even translate or use over here which forced him to work a labor job. That's not what he was qualified for, but still he stayed and he worked. He put me and my brothers through school and it allowed us to gain so many opportunities just like everybody else that also came here. Literally everyone. <laughs> Yeah, and also the Native Americans got it like way worse than anybody else, so. And this issue hits hard for me because I can personally relate to it on so many levels. I get the exact same type of comments, racial slurs, profanity, all sorts of stupid, ignorant stereotypes thrown my way that are meant to put me down. But they won't for me, and they sure as hell won't for Nina. In closing, what I'm trying to say is that a beautiful, intelligent, talented girl is a beautiful, intelligent, talented girl, regardless of her skin complexion or what her people's dietary habits are. She put in the effort and the work and deserved to win this event, as well as all the other beautiful and aspiring women that were participating in this competition. So Nina, in closing, I congratulate you and I'm happy for you. Not only have you made me proud and made the Brown community proud, you've made the whole freaking world proud. So good for you, and I hope to see many great things come from you over this next year. And I'm serious about, you know, hitting me up for a date. I have like the craziest subway near my house. Not even owned by brown people, so take that. <laughs> Seriously though, call me up. DM me, whatever, I'll be waiting. Oh hey guys, this is the end slate. You can check out my second channel where I make vlogs and my last video where I make my last videos. All my links are down below. Do subscribe. Got way more stuff coming out. Like always. Come on. Okay, see you guys and Nina. Can't wait to hang out with you girl. Alright, bye.